was but a recreation of what happened while I wasn't recording and I was just trying to build this freaking tower. I died. I literally died off camera. That's the that's the worst thing. That's the worst thing that could happen for a hardcore Minecraft series. I didn't even get it on film. That was, like I said, just a recreation. Well, I could show off what I did. Look, I cleared it all out. I had scaffolding up in like a cool way. I thought that like you could parkour across it. And now it's worthless. There's a very spooky cave here I was going to explore in the next episode. It was going to be a whole thing. Also, I love the sound design down here. You know, I love being at the bottom of the tower. Imagine looking up and seeing a bunch of scaffolding and hearing this ambience. And having all this be cleared out, of course, to be a big tunnel. Man, it would have been so good! But as a wise man once said, in every setback, there's an opportunity to overcome. I am the wise man. So here is the world. I'm deleting it. Everything on there was gone. We're going to create a brand new world and we're going to start anew. And this time, I've downloaded a few more mods. <laughs> no one told me how fun it was to just browse and download mods. I mean, come on, like I maybe it's not that bad of a thing that I died. So uh, the world is new again. Yeah. New another hardcore world. Man, I can't believe it. I died off freaking camera. If I ever want to do a bunch of off-camera stuff again, I'm just going to do it on stream. I think that's a, that's a fair enough compromise. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even get it in an episode. It's not going to happen again, I promise. So. Here's our new world. Whatever happens, happens. As you can see, we got a... A few mods already announcing themselves. Horde Knights. Yeah, we'll get to that. Terralith. Is gonna overhaul the world generation even more. I downloaded a few more biome mods. And just some other quality of life sort of things. And I'll introduce them as they come up. <sighs> you know. As frustrated as I am that I lost the previous world. You know. The nomadic lifestyle is moving on to other things and, in a sense, starting over, over and over again. So, even though I lost the old world, what did I really lose? I was already going to leave that place and go explore other regions at another time. I'm going to turn down the freaking sound. Jeez. I was already going to go explore other things, so really, what's... what? So what? I lost all my stuff. My awesome coal backpack. No! I gotta get it again. So you may notice as I spawned in, I have a mod that's gonna tell us the name of biomes as we enter them. Just a little, like, sort of RPG flair to whenever we get to a new place. Wow, this is a deep river. <sighs> yep. Housing all the terrifying horrors I'd come to expect. It's like, here we go, we're in the savannah now. Alright, I guess I'll chop down a tree. That's, that's what we're supposed to do, right? Oh, hey, the plains. So far, not a whole lot of forest. What's that over there? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's some trees. Okay. Alright. Just gotta pick ourselves back up. And we'll get back to where we were before. We're gonna we're gonna surpass what we did before. May oh, coal. Maybe I should grab that before I head over to whatever that is. Oh yeah, that's another mod I added. Uh, a whole bunch of all the mobs that uh, lost all the mob votes. Uh, they're they're just gonna be seeing seeing us, or we're gonna be seeing them rather. Hey, what do you what do you do? I don't remember what you do. All right, this acacia wood. This is gonna be the start. This run's actually going to make it all the way to the end. You'll see. You'll all see. You were wrong not to believe in me. I mean, I'm sure you you believed in me. I just disappointed all of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to let that happen again. That was so dumb. Why was I... Ooh, that's awesome. I love the way everything looks. It's beautiful. Why was I in a high-up place 
with no water bucket in my inventory. I could have saved myself. I'm pretty good at those water bucket clutches. Uh, no, let's let's get some stone before we make the other tools. I'm I'm a wood skipper, of course. Okay, that's enough for a pick. Need an axe. And we'll get a little extra. See, a lot of these sounds could just be ambience, because I don't think I, I ever went to a savanna. I never went to a savanna in the previous world, so I don't know what all the different ambient sounds are for the different biomes. But I've also added a bunch of different mobs. So, some of the ambience is gonna actually be mobs, like that sound right there. That's pretty distinct, that one's pretty easy, but they might not all be so. Let's get ourselves some better tools and forget that any of this ever happened, right? Dark mode. Whoa. There's a bunch of new advancements. What's what's dark mode? Pick up a log from an ebony tree. Whoa. I didn't know this was a different tree type. That's cool. I wonder what your planks look like. Ooh. Okay, I gotta use that. Imagine like a big evil fortress. Like a skull in that cliff right there. Made out of the ebony wood. And I mean, maybe blackstone if I'm able to find some. I think that would look pretty sick. I don't know about you. But first, let's go and figure out what the thing over here is that I saw. Prairie. Yeah, this mod works with all other bio mods, it said, so we'll also be learning the names of these places. Ah, well. I'll take some early game nether loot. Gotta scale our way down this cliff. I completely lost whatever the thing was. Is that it? Oh, is that that's a pillager camp. Okay, they shouldn't bother me all the way down here. But yeah. I'll definitely want to get myself a shield before I mess with those guys. Whee! Hello, fish. And these rivers are deep. Gotta be careful, don't want to die to lava. Oh, yes, Curse of Binding. Oh, Efficiency 5. Whoa, that might legitimately be a useful golden pick. We'll see. But this this could instamine... Might even be able to instamine stone? I'm not certain. No. But if I need to break some stone real fast, I'll have that at the ready. You know, I did just start a new playthrough, so I don't have anything to lose, but I don't want to act like it, you know? I want I want to cherish my life. Because maybe, you know, in-universe, maybe I don't actually respawn. Maybe I'm a different dude. This guy seems a lot less paranoid about some valley nonsense. Ooh, perfect. Well, now we can get ourselves a shield. I'm very much looking forward to getting my backpack back. Ooh, I can also just make it like this. I don't even need to get the furnace. Uh, not, not out of stone. There we go. Perfect. I'll worry about the furnace later. Yeah! You know what? Say what you will about golden tools and how brittle they are, but they are very quick. Boom. I say that was worth. Okay, so there's no tower. Ooh, but they got hay bales. That's some good food. We know how scarce animals can be. And they have a villager. This might legit be an amazing opportunity. I don't know where any villagers are, and... 
I probably spent all of my luck in finding villages in the previous world. Okay, where is this guy? I saw him earlier. He walked over here amongst the pigs. Thanks for the free feathers. There you are. There we go. All right. Uh, I don't know if I want to free this guy. Thanks for the feathers. I can make some good arrows with those. Just thinking, if I if I get a workstation over here, I could set up a little camp. What's your name? Norbert? Alright, tell you what, Norbert. I'm not going to kill you, but I will become your new captor. How's that sound? Good, glad you like it. Okay, this start, this start's been pretty, pretty darn good. We got plenty of food now. We got a camp. We got a buddy. Well, maybe prisoner, but still a buddy to me. What you got in here? Yes! Pillager outpost map. Oh, I could find one of their outposts. And a name tag. We'll see how useful that'll be. What you got in here? Bread. Stone should be fine. That breaks these faster, right? Well, so what's in there? Flint. Oh my god, I could really make arrows right now for my crossbow. They really just had one pillager out here guarding you, huh? I guess they weren't too worried about you escaping. Yo, that cave looks awesome. I love how the shaders just make illuminated blocks so much more... Like, they stand out in the darkness so much more. Yeah, I don't think there's any blocks here that technically count as a workstation for you. So I'm, I'm worried if I let you out, you're just going to wander off and then I'll never find you again. Yo, two Endermen first night? Okay, I'm not that greedy. Listen, I do want to eventually go beat the Ender Dragon, but I don't need to start gathering the pearls just yet. Okay, uh, let's cook these up. Hmm. You make a good point, Norbert. Maybe I should fortify this place. A little bit more efficient to use the ebony wood here, the planks. I think that's a pretty nice looking color. Are these dark oak? Yes. I didn't get any saplings from the ebony tree. Darn, I should have. Let's let's add ourselves some more defenses here. the foliage here. Okay, this tent can be sort of an entrance and exit, that's fine. Nice. Feel much safer in here already. Don't let me know if you see any monsters out there, right Norbert? You know what? I'm gonna go out and see if I can maybe gather some of those saplings from the ebony tree. Doesn't feel like anything else is happening right now. Ooh, this is a great cannonball spot. Nice. Okay, it was just on top of this hill. Oh, that fog is thick. Oh god, Trident! Dude, that could, like, three-shot me. Stop! Ooh. 
I know, it was stupid to come out at night. But actually, that, that would have happened even if it was daytime. What kind of wood are you? Oak. It was next to some acacia. Wow. The Endermen are getting busy tonight. Over there. Oh, there's too many. There's too many guys. Ow. Oh my god, three hearts. Okay. I'm out of here. I'll just wait for morning. This was stupid. Yep, do your worst. Whoa. Okay, he must have taken some fall damage on the way. Of course, now it's daytime, so I kind of want to go back over there. Okay, fine, I'll go back. Alright, beautiful sunrise, zombies. You know what that means. Maybe you don't. Doesn't matter. I think they figured it out. Okay, just want to break these leaves to get some more ebony wood, because it's really cool and dark and pretty. Oh, right? Nope. Must be shears. I don't... Why do you drop oak? No! Well, okay, I guess maybe we don't get saplings for the ebony wood. Hey, come back here. Ah, scrubland. I do feel like a scrub right now. We got the underwater Minecraft music playing? I don't know, uh... I don't know what that's about. I guess I was underwater for exactly enough time for that to get started. It's still nice. I'll keep it going while I slaughter these pigs. Oh my god, there's another Enderman right there. What is up with the Enderman? Uh, sheep? Okay, I'm not putting it off anymore. I'll just cook these. I'll use the oak, but that, that is not how you craft a furnace. That is, um... I'm really living up to my, my scrub name. Oh, I also have these slots. I think it's... Yep, it's G. And I can put it on my back! Isn't that cool? I'm like a real adventurer now, and then I can... Just press G, and then my stone sword sounds like an iron sword for a second. There we go. There were three of you. Dang it. Fine, pumpkin. I'm sorry. I don't need you. Oh, that's a drop. I'm getting flashbacks to a past life. Something about long drops is making me a little bit uncomfortable. Do I trust that I can make that jump? No, not really. Not after what happened. We take the safe way. Uh, yep, diving board. That's better. And that Nether portal also has me thinking things, but it's not—it's not worth it. I can't—I cannot go to the Nether with no armor. I need iron, at least, for that. But I mean, also, uh, something that happened while I was not recording is I went out to search for iron, because I just needed, I just needed iron for something I was doing, and I could not find it. The caves all around just didn't have a single iron ore vein. Let's store some of our less useful stuff. I could put on the pants, just for the sake of armor, and it'll definitely break before I have use for anything else. You know what? There we go. Armor is armor. We'll see if I regret that later. Ooh, I could start setting up a farm here. Maybe this could be, like, a little, a little farming camp. And Norbert, you could be the farmer. And if I get lucky, I could trade you crops. We can give it a try. Oh, I don't have any water. 
that, I of course will need iron, and we've already gone over why that's a problem. Only have one piece right now. I think I need to go out and get some iron. Get enough for a bucket to get some water up here. Get started on a farm. And then Norbert here can tend to it once I'm gone. So where am I going to find some iron? I could go for this pillager outpost. They probably have some iron. You know what? It's the best lead I have. I need to go northeast. The sun and the moon set the same way. I don't know because it's not like perfectly straight on. I think this is west. I think it's setting in this direction. So if that's west, then that's north and that's east. So I need to go that way. Toward the big scary cliff. Perfect. So the sun is setting. So maybe I should make a bed for the night. And then in the morning I can deal with that. I don't want to get caught in the middle of the night. And I'll make it an orange bed so that it looks cool. But then again... I can make another tent over here. I mean, it ain't, it ain't the prettiest. In fact, I'll even go so far as to say is it looks ugly. So let's... Yeah, let's just take this all down. Here we go. I can break this down. Where did the rest go? Oh, these are light gray? I think it still looks fine to have the edge be white, but then all this can just be gray. I'm working with what I got. We can have white wool over here at the end. What this needs is a gate. I'm going to make a fence gate for us. I always remember this because it's always the one that you don't want it to be, is the recipe for the gates. Makes sense to me. I really, really miss having a backpack. Got enough for four arrows, I'll have to make that work. Alright. Well, let's rest up for the night. Got a big day ahead of us. Nice roll into bed. Did you sleep well? Oh yeah, you don't have a place to lie down in there. Well, oh well. You'll have one soon. So if I'm right, I just need to go this way. And then that'll... Get me to a pillager outpost, though. You'd think I'd be able to see it from here already. My, my dot on the map in the bottom left there is pretty big. So that typically means I'm close. So, if it gets small, we know that I uh, did something wrong. Hey, piggies. Don't worry, I'm full. I don't want to use F3. I want to limit my F3 usage as much as possible. I'd much rather use the environment around me to figure out the directions. Man, there's a lot of coal along these cliffs. Any iron, though? Not seeing it. We got a cherry grove over here. Oh, saw that coming. Oh, and you know, you know, new chunks are being loaded when the frame rate drops. We got another camp over here. I've seen one of you in a past life. Okay, the positioning of this one makes a lot more sense. Oh. Really? You just had some oak saplings in here? Yo! I won't complain. This is a lot of iron. And free signs. And, the, and lanterns. I can make my base look so pretty. Still, though, I think I, I want to take a, a battle to the pillagers. 
but now I might be a little bit more geared up for it. Is that dead coral over here? Wow. Okay, whoever... Whoever designed this structure, you do know how much an iron... A raw iron block is worth, right? You know that's nine. Hey, horsey. Sorry, I don't have a saddle. Jeez. I almost feel bad taking this. Almost. But I'm gonna run through all this iron really fast. Well, I'm feeling much more prepared now. And of course I have those pants on, because I didn't think that this would happen. Oh, well, armor is armor. Like I said before, I made a stupid decision. Whoa! I'm glad I mined that out. Also, gold blocks up there, if I had an iron pick, which I'm about to, actually. I'll also be set on gold. Man, the nomad lifestyle really pays off. I should have done this earlier. I feel like whoever designed this structure just did not know the value of these resources. Is this just super rare, maybe? I don't know how that would really balance this. Oh, even more bread. Good thing I checked here. Beds, bookshelf... I mean, oak saplings? What kind of what kind of mess is this? You know what, just in case this guy comes back, maybe I should leave a sign. There we go. Now he'll understand. All right then, well, that's 37 iron. Do you think that'll be enough? Let's leave our sword here. Can I put my crossbow here? I can! Man, with the backpack mod, I've really appreciated just having extra inventory slots. Um, yeah, that definitely uh, is supposed to be right there. Anyway, let's not go into uh, third person, I guess. But I just really appreciate just having those just that tiny little bit of extra inventory. Just making it just that little bit, and if I do this... Okay, it's bow first. Interesting. There's like a there's a method to this. Oh, I, I can swap between them too. Just these little quality of life things. They just make everything go a little bit smoother. Oh no! I spent so long raiding that guy's camp. Gay forest. Basic Minecraft forest. Okay, you know what? I have a theory. I think the pillager that was keeping Norbert had a fake map and it just leads you nowhere it tell it's supposed to tell you that to go northeast but there's actually nothing there and it's just a little prank why are there mobs out right now is it really that dark already stony shore I don't want to go into the water. There's going to be trident dudes. Just need to get to a, a semi-safe place. Definitely not the semi-birch forest. Apparently that's the most dangerous location. Maybe it's just upset that it's not called a, a full birch forest. I was lashing out at the world. Well, it's not my fault, okay? I didn't name you. you know, if we look at the map, it looks like there's a bunch of ocean. I think... All that blank space is ocean. So this makes sense. Wow. I'm just taking in the atmosphere here on the water. This is so... This is such a vibe right now. I'm enjoying this. Okay. We keep going. Now their tower, in, in the night, it should be extra lit up. It should be especially easy for us to see it. We're not even on the map yet. This might even be like a thumbnail moment right here. Man, that's pretty. I guess I do have sparse structures. So... There's just a chance that it's a really far away pillager outpost. Like, the closest pillager outpost just happens to be a thousand blocks away or something. Ooh. 
We've got a lot of company around here. That's a grindstone. Wait, I want that. For Norbert. I could get like a weaponsmith, right? That's what that is? I pulled the lever. Still not even, not even on the map. I really don't want to go sprinting through a forest right now. Okay, maybe take me through the river. Since I should be much closer to this thing, I should see myself moving upward on the map, right? Ooh, there's a lot of bubbles in this water. These cliffs look cool. Is that polished diorite? Ooh. Ah, okay. We dodging. Wow, what's going on under this? There's a lot of volcanic activity around here. Ah, ah. Okay. Y'all heard that, right? Heard a little splash. This river should take me toward this outpost. Man, a pillager outpost is not worth this trek. I thought it would be a little bit closer. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm not I'm not even anywhere closer. I got plenty of treasure on this adventure. I'm sure Norbert's worried sick about me. I just need to get home. There's, there's definitely something there. Fog makes it too hard to make out, though. I'll, I'll go there once I have space in my inventory to loot more. These lights could almost trick you into thinking there's civilization right here. We're getting off the lake here, back into the ocean. If I see any sand, I should definitely pick some up. Dolphins. Friendly face. That's nice. Ooh, these cliffs actually have a bunch of, is that mushrooms? Yeah. I don't think that's a mushroom island, though. Oh, maybe it is. I think that's mycelium. This is just a wild mushroom biome. I've never really been a big fan of mushroom biomes, to be honest. Whoa! Actually glowing squid! I've never seen one of those in my life! Okay, there is the nether portal, right? That's the one. Or is that... Actually, that's a... Is that a different one? Is, no, no, no. The one that I know of is in a river. Oh my god. Oh no, this this is thumbnail. This, this is a thumbnail shot right here. Look at... Look at that! Ah! It's so pretty! One of my favorite things about this series is being able to make the thumbnails. <laughs> Yo, looting three gold axe. I can make it work. Uh, okay, but I am having the little teeny tiny, honestly, insignificant issue of having no idea where I am. I know that island was further away. So I think I just need to keep going along here. There's going to be a, another entrance. So many just, like, tall, tall structures. Yeah, like somewhere over here, I think, it is where it was. Right? Oh, boy, I'm lost. What's Norbert going to think? What's he going to do without me? You know, for a moment there, I almost thought maybe we could be friends. <laughs> I know, it's it's ridiculous. And we only just met. Uh Yeah, I think I think when when the land's doing that 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 might mean that it's generating new chunks. And if it's generating new chunks, then I ever really am lost. Oh god, I'm I completely just lost Norbert.
and everything that I was doing there. Luckily, I have everything that I really need on my person right now. I was just, you know, I was a little bit proud of that little structure that I had made. Okay. If we just, you know, stay on and land for a little while, maybe we'll be able to find it. Yeah, no, this is absolutely new, new terrain. Jeez, look at those frames. Dark forest. Yeah, that's exactly where I want to be lost. Dark is right. Okay, one moment, zombie. I, I just need to lower the render distance a little bit. Thank you. Oh, well, at least I wound up lost in a pretty area. So that can be said for literally everywhere. Okay. I can make do with this. There we go. Tree chopping actually does work. I was wondering why it didn't before. I think it's because I wasn't using an axe. That's my only guess. Okay. Might be worth it to drop something for these sticks. And what kind of wood did I just get? Dark oak. Okay. That's a good wood. That's a respectable wood. Something about this spot. Hello there. All right. No one else gonna interrupt me? Good. How about a little dock over here? Good, we got more water music coming in. Just because I went underwater for like three seconds to fight that guy. Great. this up a little bit. This is, uh, this is what I cooked up. It's a humble little place. Got a dock, a boat, and a little room carved in here for stuff. I don't have enough wool to make a bed, so not able to sleep here, but it'll at least keep me safe for the night. Hopefully. I don't feel like this place warrants a full door. And this is less of a base and more of just a little hidey hole for me. Yeah, sun's definitely going down. Maybe I could add an extra little room in the back. Oh! Spoilers, jeez. Apparently there's a lush cave over here. I was more just making a room for myself. Oh boy. Maybe that's where I'll explore next time. Oh boy, yeah, it's, it gets dark out there real quick, doesn't it? Here. Keep the riffraff out. Now, I'm going to lock myself in here, and this is where I'm going to call the first episode of This New World. I'm sorry about what happened to the last one. I really, I really dropped the ball on that. I'm not going to let that happen again. 
and this time we're gonna we're gonna be even more nomadic. Uh, not by choice. This this just happened. I swear I didn't mean to lose the camp. I have no idea what's gonna happen next episode, and that is just really exciting. It's not often you're able to be genuinely lost in a video game world, and that's what this series is meant to capture. So next time, maybe we'll find ourselves. Maybe we'll find a new home. Maybe we'll find something else. So, I hope you'll see me there, and I hope you have a good day, gamers.